year 12 i hope you've enjoyed being back at school i think i hope that's the right uh way for it i hope that the the back to school wasn't too much of a shock to you um now everyone is concerned about what is going to happen with the exams next year and i do think there are going to be exams next year they might be in a slightly modified format they might go with the original plan for this year so kind of like guiding students a bit more as to what the actual questions are going to be but i do think there are going to be exams next year year and obviously these will be important exams for you guys using them to get onto university courses using them to get onto apprenticeships or get into um the workplace so you are obviously anxious about revising for this and everything that you've missed but what i want you to do most importantly is spend some time enjoying the easter holidays hopefully the weather will hold and it will be nice so that you can still go outside without a massive jacket on and you can go and feed the ducks and you can go and walk around the park with your friends and chat about absolute nonsense that is something i'm going to strongly encourage you to do what i do not want you to do is spend so much time revising working trying to fill in the gaps worrying about stuff that has happened in a school that you don't enjoy yourself because year 12 is a big step up from year 13 and i'll be honest with you guys you didn't have the best start because you didn't revise for your gcse's so you were behind that and then when you got into the classroom it probably felt massively overwhelming to be back in the classroom again and then we went into lockdown but i do not want you to worry about this i am going to be providing you with so much help and so much stuff that we're going to be okay some of the whole topic videos are ready already and the rest will be ready soon so the whole available math pure is already out stats, stats and mechanics is in progress the first part of the whole available biology is out and the rest of it is in progress and all of the workbooks and predictive papers you know practice papers for a-level maths i'm just checking the last little bits of them before they go up on my website there is so much stuff that i'm doing to help you i really just want to reassure you that we will get through this together i promise you now if you are worried and you do want to spend the time doing stuff what i strongly suggest that you spend this year's holiday doing is basically going back to the beginning of year 12 and really really working on the content from then making sure you can answer exam questions on it making sure you properly have all the definitions and the equations memorized because that is the the foundation for everything that we're moving on to the rest of this year and next year and if you've got a strong foundation, then we can build upon that. Whereas if your basics, your foundation knowledge is a bit shaky, it is going to make things really, really hard as we continue to move through the course. So I'm not saying you need to do loads and loads of work, but just go back to the beginning of year 12 and, you know, maybe start making flashcards. There are so many new words in A-Level Biology and you do need to know what they all mean and are because some of them are literally like perfect four mark answers there are so many equations and techniques that you need to know for maths or you know languages or history complicated things but if we just go through and start making flashcards with them flashcards that we can use the whole way through the course it is going to be really really beneficial to you now and in the future now, the other thing I want to talk to you about in this video is something that might feel a little bit scary and way too soon. But when you get back to school, maybe straight away, maybe a bit closer towards May half term, you are going to have an assembly and they are going to start talking to you about UCAS, application forms and personal statements. And the sooner you start thinking about this, the better and the less overwhelming it is going to be. So I don't want you to start writing yet. I want you to spend a day, maybe, just looking through all the crazy, crazy courses you can do at university and daydreaming a bit. You can basically do a course in anything that you're interested in, but have a look 
through and see what there is see what the entry requirements are and check you've got the right set of a-levels see what grades are needed and check that you're working hard enough so that your teacher will actually predict you those grades when it comes to filling in your reference just go and have a look at what the accommodation will be like do you want a city university or a campus university do you want to do a sandwich course or a foundation year now i don't want to waffle on too much in this video because i have a whole playlist where i waffle on for hours about that sort of thing but there is so much choice um options opportunities out there for you i just want you to spend a day looking daydreaming and then when we get back into school and they start talking about ucas and personal statements hopefully it won't seem so overwhelming um i mentioned already how much stuff i've got coming up at a level by the time we get around to year 13 it should be finished so a level sciences a level math psychology and um, maybe geography um i'm going to be here with you we can do this together i'm going to be here with you throughout the whole time every single step of the way ouch this is why in some videos i've explained scratches